Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a project share. I was, um, I'm doing a swap with Lisa Goss. I think her YouTube name is The Happy Crafter. I will link her information down in the description to bar below. And we had to do a gift bag or gift set swap. So I'm going to show you all of my products that I used on this swap. Like when I say I'm like super duper excited to get these out. Um, this video probably won't go up until she receive it. Or probably um, later on during the week. Um, so let me stop mumbling on. Show you what I use so I can show you guys what I made. So I use these... Um, bling these gems i always use those i made me a sequin mix you know i never i always make a sequin mix no matter what product i use this bow dye i got from auntie alley then i finally used these i had these in my stash for a while um i think i got these from ebay and i used this one right here then um I actually use this Prima Doll Scarlet, and I use my new um, stamp that I got from Donna. Hey, Donna. And out of this stamp set, I use this Fabulous is Always in Style. I use the doll, and um, this sentiment says, Hello, Glamour Girl, because um, we had to make a 5x7 gift bag, a 4x6 gift box a card a tag and another tag that says 10 um things about me so i use this and, and each one of them had to have a sentiment on it i use these um these beads i use the blue ones i use this chain i use this paper by cartabella when I say I love this paper, I got this paper when I was in Phoenix. And I used, um, let me see, I used this one with the pocketbooks. I used this one with the makeup on and the glasses. And I used this one right here for the project. But I didn't get nothing out of here because I used the, I bought some regular sheets. But I just want, and this one is in Vogue by Cartabella. I also use some envelopes for my cards. Like I said, this is the, the paper that I use. Here goes another one. This is the other one. I use this cream cardstock. I use the black. Ooh, I use this white 110. And then I use this 12 by 12 Cartabella designer cardstock ebony black linen. And this is the 80 pound. So, let's put that to the side. So, first things first, I want to make, I want to show you guys something. My swap is pretty big, but I like to, I didn't embellish it like I usually do, but I made sure that my swap fit in this bag. It's a little protruding, but if you do it like this, it will fit both swaps so i'm going to show you how i package my swaps none spectacular i'm gonna put this all in another plastic bag but this is how i package my swaps but i'm going to show you these are for my two swap partners and then the other one is for lisa so i made three sets we only had to make two but i made one for the hosts as well so let me show you what i made so first things first, we had to do a card, and it had to have a sentiment in it, in it, in um, it had to be finished on the inside. So I'm not really good with cards, but this is the card I decided to do. Here goes that bow. Here goes the bling. Here goes that hello glamour girl. I thought it fit so well with this paper. Here goes the two thought dots. And then if you open it, it's an easel card. And I have this trim here. I forgot to pull it out. And I have this right here. And it is finished in the inside. So they can make it 
do whatever they want with that. So that is the card. The envelope won't fit, but we required an envelope. So um, I figured you can do this and then just put the card back in this cello and then be okay with it. So then we did have to include, so the next thing was the tags, right? So here's my tag. Here's my sentiment. It says, hello, Glamour Girl. I fussy cut that out. Here go a sequence and some bling here. And it's pretty simple. Here go bling in her, her um, bow. I just colored her hair. I put this on the paper. Cut it out. Fussy cut it. Call it a day. And this is how it's back. And it says, handmade by Lala's Creations at gmail.com. But um, I did make the tags. Anything else... Um, I didn't put handmade by like on my card or the any of the gift boxing because I just figured, you know, I don't have a problem them gifting it, but you know how you just make certain things for a certain person. So that's why I just put my handmade on this one. So I made three different ones. So here goes one. Here goes the other one. And they're all the same but different nationalities. They can't go the other one. Okay, so that's my tag. So the next thing we had to do was a gift box. And we had to include um we had to include a sentiment. So um like I said, Lisa's is different. So this is Lisa's. Hers go up like this because the paper I used, this is the only piece I had left, and I didn't have another piece of this unless I opened my pack. So, this is how the gift box would go. You fold these in, boom, tack that, fold these in as well, right? Give me that, that, and then it'll tuck in, or however she wants to finish it off. And here goes my sentiment. Here goes a bow, and there's a shaker. A simple, a simple um, box, and it does have the tape on, on the um, things because that was required, and we were required to put tissue paper in this swap as well. So I like tissue paper and I like crinkle paper. So this is what I did. Um, so in the whole kit and whatever, you will get some shred and some sequins because you know we like to put the sequins inside of the box. So you can put this in the box or the bag. Then here goes the tissue paper. Um, okay, so the next thing is I'm super duper duper excited about this. This is my bag. I love this bag. I was inspired by Intertwine Designs here on YouTube. I will link the exact um, project she did, but hers was much smaller. I know it had to be a 5 by 7 bag, so mine's is 5 inches up and down and 7 inches across. I hope that is okay, but I'm going to open it. I did seal it by accident, but it's okay. I'll reseal it. And here it goes. This is my sentiment. Hello, gorgeous girl. This is the box, the bag part. I already put the, um, what is this? The sticky tape. So this will go like this. Do you fold these flaps in? And then you fold these flaps around that tab. And this is how it will go. I did put the Velcro on it already. So only thing they have to do is just bend it over like this and it has a score line right here where you can match it up because it has to have it should have a quarter of an inch overlap and then you just stick it down and this is the box and here goes the handle oh my gosh this came out super duper duper cute and this is optional if they want to put I, I put another piece in here for a handle so one thing that we have to do is just put like a quarter of an inch tape here and here and then you just butt it up across here and that will be the handle and i like when i say i love the way this came out this oh my gosh and then like i said if that we had to 
actually folded flat so it can mail. So that's that. And this is the my prototype. This is the first box I made, or bag I made. And if you want a tutorial, I plan on doing a tutorial. Just let me know and I'll do it. And it opens up like this. And um, like I said, it's two inches this way. And it's five by seven. And when I say I love this bag, so I'm, I'm actually going to finish this bag. And yeah, and it sits like that. Perfect. Let's have to put the chain on there. And I didn't want to over embellish it. But I, when I say I love the way this box came out, and I hope my partners do as well. So, I'm just going to have to get a new bag. So, that is that is my swap. Like I said, I hope my partners um, love what I made. So, and then the 10, the 10 things about me swap um, tag will be taped to the back of the cello paper. Um, so guys, with that being said, I will link all the information down below so you can go over and check it out. Um, so like I said, if you want a tutorial, if you need me to show you how I, I did this box, I have no problem with a bag. I have no problem doing it. So guys, with that being said, I love you for free and there's nothing you can do about it until next time. Bye-bye.